Let's pray. Father, today we pray for a generous and giving spirit that we may share our blessings and resources with others as an expression of your love. You said in your word that you love a cheerful giver. And so, Lord, we give not reluctantly, not out of duress, but we give out of a heart that desires to be a blessing to others. So, Father, today we pray for a generous and giving spirit that we may share all of our blessings and resources as an expression of your love towards us. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's pray. Father, today we pray for an unwavering faith in your promises and goodness, staying devoted to you in all circumstances. For your word says, let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess. For he that promised is faithful. Lord, we know that even when we're faithless, you'll remain faithful. And so, God, we know that you're the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, and you're dependable, and we can count on you because you have begun a good work in us, and you will complete it. So, Father, today we pray for an unwavering faith in your promises and your goodness. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's pray. Father, today we pray for the discipline and the self-control to resist temptation and live a life that honors you. You said in your word that a person without self-control is like a city with the walls that are broken down. Lord, we pray right now for that type of discipline that will allow us to submit to you, resist the devil, and he will flee. Father, today we pray for the discipline and the self-control to resist temptation and live a life that honors you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray. Father, today we pray for businesses as they serve others and trust in you. Lord, we lift up today godly business owners. We pray that they would have just scales and operate in integrity as they serve their community and those that are around them. Lord, we pray that their businesses would be blessed and fruitful, that they may accomplish the goals that you have placed in their hearts. So Lord, today we pray for businesses as they serve others and trust in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's pray. Father, today we pray for the strength to choose goodness over evil. Lord, you said, don't be overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. When tempted to revile again, to lash out and to do an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, I pray, God, that we would not return evil for evil, but we would have the strength to choose goodness over evil, forgiveness over bitterness, love over hate. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's pray. Father, today we pray for hearts to be filled with kindness and generosity towards others. You said in your word to be kind towards one another, forgiving one another as Christ has forgiven us. Lord, I pray that we have an overflow of kindness and compassion and generosity to those in our immediate circle and those that we come in contact with. Lord, I pray for our hearts to be filled with kindness and generosity in Jesus name. Let's pray. Father, today we pray for a love that reflects the love of Christ in our interactions with others. You said in your word that we pass from death to life when we love the brethren. You said in your word that they will know that we are your disciples by our love for one another. That this new commandment that we love each other as you have loved us. Lord, we pray that your love would fill us up and overflow out of us, producing an environment filled with your power and your presence. Father, today we pray for a love that reflects the love of Christ in all of our interactions. In Jesus' name, amen. let's pray. Father, today we pray for a deeper sense of peace, the kind of peace that surpasses all understanding that will guard our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. You said you would keep us in perfect peace if our mind is stayed on you and we trust in you. So Lord, we pray for the kind of peace that you give and that the world cannot give to us. Lord, today we pray for a deeper sense of peace in Jesus' name. 
Father, today we pray for a spirit of joy to fill our hearts, regardless of our circumstances. You said in your word that the joy of the Lord will be our strength and that in your presence there is fullness of joy as a fruit of your spirit, the joy that comes from you, the world didn't give it to us and the world can't take it away. So Father, today we pray for a spirit of joy to fill our hearts, regardless of the circumstances, knowing that you are with us always in Jesus name. Amen.